So this motherfucker wasn't even playing, man. He just insta-locked. So I don't know who the fuck he's playing, but he banned a Loki, so I'm going to assume he's like Baka, I think. Because Loki beats Baka. But we're going to try our best, and we're going to actually play Rom. Apparently Rom's actually somewhat good in this meta, I've heard. So, I mean, and he's really fun to play. I mean, his ultimate's cool and stuff. I think it's the Scotty. That is actually pretty... This is an interesting matchup. Should we go Orbital? What do we do? I'm, I'm craving the Orbital. We're going to go with the Orbital. Let's go. Whatever. We don't need this stupid skin. Against X Killer X, that is quite the name. Killer Keemstar right there. Now, Scouting out I didn't. I'm up. I, I, I Jesus words. I apologize for not having like the actual fucking, you know, my thumbnails and stuff for the past little while. It's just I'm trying my best on this shitty computer to render. It takes probably two to three hours a day just to render these two videos that I make. So it really fucks with my schedule and when I do things, like when I'm not editing, I have to do that. And it's just, you know, it's annoying because it takes a little while to make those. And I'm going to be waiting until, you know, I get my computer upgrades, which should be like fucking any day now. I'm so excited, man. I already got my motherboard. Still waiting on the other stuff, though. Three more items. My graphics card, CPU, and the RAM. We'll, we'll be there, man. We'll be there. I'm so excited, dude. Of all the thumbs, you'll know when my computer upgrades have come in because all of the thumbnails will be like all updated. All of them. All of them will be updated. I can roll away from his route, but he's going ability base, which I understand. Okay. Might actually max my two here. He's actually focusing me a lot. Trying to box me quite a bit, but I have tier one Ikeable as well as some death toll, so every auto is healing me, you know. The huge. Okay, he's playing real passive here. On a real low man, a man is always such an issue. As Rom. It's her dog's pass or dog down. At least. Fucking hate Scotty though, man. Nobody likes Scotty <laughs> unless you play her. Then fuck you. Yes, her med as well. <sighs> I'm not in a good spot here. I'm healing, but she's just got so many potions. I don't have no idea when her three is coming up. Absolutely no clue. She's gonna have five before me as well. Actually interrupted my dash. Wow, that is so lucky for her. She's so lucky, dude. I didn't know that canceled dashes. That is dumb. I should have just waited. I didn't know that, man. Fuck me. Literally lost that because of that. That's real dumb. Stupid mechanics like that that I'm not familiar with just fuck me. Like that's ugh. that's unlucky. Probably could have killed it there too. I'd hit five. I could have just ulted. Her meds down. I might have actually killed it. Oh, you cheeky little cunt. What's your HP? You think I'm just, like, not going to attempt to ult you here? Oh! Oh my god! Holy shit, man. They call me Marvels, man. That Marvels is fucking grandfather. I swear, dude. Holy shit. I was trying to follow the dog, and the dog disappears. I'm like, yo, I have a feeling. I got the strangest feeling, dude. Holy shit. That's what I like to see, baby. That's what I like to see. Ya yeah, boy. That's how you do it. Fuck yeah, dude. Pumped. Rommel's have so much to do with luck, though, man. I mean, there was a bit of prediction there, but, like, in all honesty, like, do you honestly think I could completely guess her exact position? Like, you can get really familiar with a, Mar a Marvel's ult, a fucking Aram ult, but I feel as if, like, a good ch especially when you don't have vision, it's mostly just predictions. It's kind of like, you know, seeing Loki when he's invis. It's not like I can see every single movement and fucking angle that he changes at. I have to predict it, right? So it's a lot of predictions. My mouth is really dry now, all of a sudden. I don't know if it's from the yelling or if I'm just fucking... I've gotten AIDS from all these all this raping that I've been doing. One of the two. 
Got a lot of pressure here, though. My ult's up again. Awesome. Her boots aren't even done. Gotta be careful if one of her fucking ice is up, because if I walk forward, then I'm kind of screwed. Kinda wanna go Devos next, actually. Man, it doesn't seem to really be an issue here. Oh, I was one auto? Man, I wasn't even paying attention. Oh, damn it. Wasn't even paying attention. That was just absolutely stupid. Why did I do that? I got it overconfident in a matchup where I'm the losing person. <laughs> Shit. That was just dumb. Unfortunate. Now she's two levels ahead. Oh, fuck. I think red's coming up relatively soon, though. The fact that I have to stack devils as well is gonna fuck me up. But hey, I mean, at least we got a cool snipe, right? So we're the real winners here. Her abilities just hit me like a truck right now. I gotta play around that, but it's so difficult. Because if you're in boxing range, it's really easy for her to just, you know, put that dog on me or, like, just put her abilities down, like her ice or, uh... I'm not be able to get this quick enough. That's how we do it. That's what I like to see. Awesome. I mean, I need devils for life still. But it's so hard to lock her down because she can just put her ice. At least, bare minimum, she doesn't have an escape, which is kind of a plus for me. She's about to hit 10 off this wave, and I won't, though. At least I got red, though, so it kind of makes it a little easier on me, you know? Once I get life still, it really helps me, though. Your middle tower is under attack. Okay. I got that XP. That's all that matters. Hey. Okay, alright. There goes her dog stacks. She actually can't take my blue because she's forced to do wave and back off. <clears throat> my mouth is so dry now. Do I have any water in my mini fridge? I don't know. Shit, actually, she's gonna stay, I see. Once I get life so this will be a little, little, just a little bit easier on me. Okay, okay, alright then. I don't know when her one's coming up, which is the scary thing, because her one has a much higher range than mine. Lady bitch, I'm out. No thanks. You think I'm gonna stay here? Nah. I have no reason to. Your autos are hitting way harder than mine. I may hit you with more of them, but you still got abilities to on top of that, and I do not have that. And wow, you are chunking through this tower, huh? You have a fully stacked dog, and you're not putting it on it. Also an interesting decision. Oh, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, it's Jason Bourne. That shit was not easy. <laughs> Fucking Christ, man, this is not easy. Scotty is so strong. And I am so not strong. I heard he's like, not S+, plus, but like S. I understand why people think that. I mean, his auto still hurt, but like... Oh, ow, my anus. Okay, man, I wish I was stacking there. There's so many free stacks. I chunked her tower down a bit, but she's able to get mine for free. Both her actives are down. What should I go after? Devil, some defense, and then chill so I can get an executioner, maybe. Your middle tower is under yep, none of that. None of that shit. I'm actually going to rush the Witchblade. But it does, it's, fun fact, Witchblade actually isn't going to be as good as uh, most items, like against most ADCs, because, you know, Scotty can go ability-based. Your abilities chunk through me, so... Auto attacks aren't my main problem here. Once I get some stacks, though, Lifesteal is really going to help me, because she's actually not building into Lifesteal just yet. No idea when her ult's coming up, though. Gimme this. What? Bullshit. That must have hit her. Must have nicked her dick. Nicked her dick. Holy shit, I didn't even need to ult. I didn't know I did that much. 
I comboed her out and I surprised myself. <laughs> Holy shit, I just surprised myself there, dude. <laughs> I did not expect to do that. I didn't think that auto would kill her, to be honest. Yeah, I actually think I'm just gonna go take this red. <laughs> Probably be a smarter decision. I didn't need to ult there, but I don't even care, honestly. I got her ult as well, so I'm not even worried. Rom can be so fun in duels sometimes, dude. If you win like a matchup where there's a stronger god, it feels great. Hit some hot ultimates, you know? You know? I don't know what to get as an active, though. I'm kind of feeling an Aegis, but at the same time, like a Thorns would be cool. Only thing is that it doesn't really counter her dog, but it'll get her off of me easier, which helps. She's going to Lifesteal next. It looks like she's going into a Soul Eater. Soul Eater, in my opinion, isn't that great versus Witchblade. So which, um, because, you know, Soul Eater doesn't give much power. It doesn't give any power at all, actually, and Witchblade's, like, reducing that power. But with, uh, with an ability-based build, I completely understand why she'd go Soul Eater. Double stacking is just going to take too long, and this is at my prime time here at this point. One more minion will get me level uh, 14. Prime time to fight her, unless she went defense. She doesn't have actually any pen yet, which puts me in a really good spot, you know? I'm slow to fucking... With the ass crack, though. Yeah, because I'm totally not going to fucking stop you here, huh? <laughs> ah. It's quite the decision. I think she forgot that my arrows could go through shit. Awesome. That's really good for me. I can go take FG for free. Back, probably get some uh, other good akins or pen, uh, depending on whether or not she goes defense or not. I'm pretty sure she's not going into defense next, though. But I might as well build into Executioner regardless. Her base projections are only 47, but still. Unless she buys something right now. Although she probably can't even afford it, that's the thing. Whatever, let's see. We'll uh, we'll hold off on buying the uh, Executioner Urkins right now because by the time by the, by the time the next engagement finishes, she'll either buy her item and then I could sell my Death Stool and get a Kins or an Executioner, depending on what I need. Might as well wait. It'll be a lot more worth it in the long run and, you know, the snowball that I need. I need to continue that snowball, so I'm going to just let her back. What are you going to get? She's not going to fence. She's not actually going to fence. That is, that is something. She doesn't have enough to buy anything. Maybe that's it. <laughs> I'm just gonna go get a Kins. Fuck it. Whatever. I don't want my FG to run out, so... Maybe I'll be lucky and she won't actually go to fence. But if she does, I mean, it's not a huge deal. I'm still chunking through HP, but... It's not really worth it to wait at this point. I need to pressure my FG as best as possible. Let's look at a watcher Slater stacks. I love the way he holds the arrow, it's all dope. All dope. I'm not sure what she's doing. I've actually only got 17 seconds left on this thing though. Of course she has to back off though. Nice. Oh, you're lucky these minions moved up, dude. You're lucky. We used both of our actives, but still, I should have killed her there. I just missed my ults because I suck. The worst part about hitting Rom ults is. Oh, yeah, look, she went to fence too. Oh, I damn it, dude. Oh, that's so unlucky. Oh, that's so unfortunate. Um. The, the, the hardest part about hitting a Rommel is really when they're under you. When they're under you, it's the worst. Absolute worst. It's so difficult. I don't know why. I find it a lot harder. I want to chill till I have uh, Executioner online, though. I'm gonna have to for free as well, hopefully. I'd really like to wait until I have, like, at least Executioner, though, before I go for FFG. Because then I can really burst through her, you know? I'm not sure if she did blue. If she did blue or not, I'll still back and have enough for a full tier Executioner. 
I can't even pick this up. What am I doing? What am I doing? All right, back. Full tier executional skill FG. Let's do it. Nice. At least I didn't die there, which is really good. <laughs> At least I'm not playing like too much of an idiot. Wait, I'm going to guess how many protections she has right now. I'm guessing 82. 88. Damn it. 88 physical protections. Okay, I'll clear away first, I guess. Don't want to miss it on any of that XP. Alright, let's go for FG. Do what we can. Sorry for the more serious commentary, I'm just trying to see if you guys like this or not. Rather than the laid back, usual commentary. Man is such an issue on ROM, man, I swear. Well, you tried. I got in the air at least. Oh, thank god my med went off, dude. I thought I wasn't gonna go off in time. I should've just tried the med before that auto, that was super risky. I tried to do a hot combo and try and uh, auto her once I landed and insta-killed her because I missed that last uh, ult because she was right under me, which made it a little more difficult. I almost threw it for that, which is <laughs> stupid because if that auto would have done enough to kill me, that would have been fucking screwed, man. Goddamn. That was super risky and unnecessary as fuck. No reason to do that shit, I swear, dude. They can't take much more of this. Your team right, we're back. She's going Titan. She's going ability base, which is what I would do as well. I'd do the exact same. But me, like, going up and putting my balls on her fucking face is really screwing with her because I'm just going balls deep and I ain't pulling out. Not today, motherfucker. Pressure as much as possible. I ain't, I ain't scared. I ain't scared at all. No reason to be, really. I mean, I snowballed. If we were even on the playing field, I'd be scared as fuck. But since I'm ahead, I have to, like, you know, up in her face. Balls to the wall. Just do what I can, you know? I kind of want to go for red, but I don't really care. I'm going to just try and end here. I actually took a lot of damage there. Oh, come on, Rexy. Come on. Oh, thank God. Oh, man. It's so hard to hit those ults when they're right under you when they're, like, far away. It's so much easier. That was a really good game. I learned a lot while playing that, <laughs> to be honest. Taught myself some stuff. Anyways, if you guys think I could have built better, I'm curious to hear. If you need to play better, let me know in the comments. Anyways, I'll see you next time, guys. Have a good one.